Vlog Day 1071. This is not a brand endorsement for Toyota. Ignore that. Ignore it. Good morning. It's Saturday, day after Fête de la Musique. Fantastic party last night. Had a grand old time, super excited. to. I love Fête de la Musique, it's so nice. And uh, now, today, for something a little bit more chill, headed out to Vaux-le-Vicomte with my friend Laura for one of their Saturday light festivals. Apparently, over the summer, at Vaux-le-Vicomte, the palace that inspired Versailles, they light it up with candles everywhere. I have no idea really what to expect. I think I saw photos of it once before. I'm really excited to go see it in person, just have a chill evening. And I've never been to Vaux-le-Vicomte before, so it's really exciting to finally get to go see this palace, which I have heard so many good things about. And of course, was cool enough to inspire Louis XIV to throw a dude in jail and then build Versailles. So, it's gotta be pretty cool, right? We'll have to find out. <laughs> I found that one and then uh, I just needed to find food and go on. She didn't even see me, I was like walking right up to her. Howdy. There's a Marks and Spencer's in this place, so we're, we'll just come back and do that. She has some invaders she doesn't have that, I don't, do you have the Robin Hood? The I mean Peter the Pan. Peter Pan over yeah. there? Okay, get her some invaders and then out of town. Invaders got. We're gonna grab some snacks here and then hop on the train. It is a train and a shuttle ride away. Good luck figuring. It's kind. Of, it is kind of complicated, but maybe I can. Do you have a, a link I can put below? It's not, she says it's not that bad. I'm intimidated. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, where's the Marks? Ooh, Marks Spencer's. Let's get this. Let's, ooh, wonder if they've got a Mexican offering. So it's line P to where? Um, Dernoy Letton. Dernoy Letton. Okay, we're, I'll put that on the screen, I guess. And then if you get off there, there's a shuttle there. Pay on the shuttle, so I don't know yet how much it is. But we're gonna I find out. There's a shuttle we gotta pay to get there. And so you, 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 you get to the shuttle, then it takes you to the chateau, and then you come back the same way you got there. We just stepped outside of the train station and we're guessing that this is right. Oh, yeah, it even says it on it. <laughs> Wait for the big bus. Don't get in one of like the little vans that pulls up and takes workers out into the fields. <laughs> Cash only, just so you know, it is 20 euros round trip for the both of us to go up and back on the shuttle bus. Where do you want to sit? We can sit anywhere. Oh, we should have sat all the way at the let's let's front. Go. Let's go, let's go. Uh, bientôt. Well, I can already tell just from the outside that I'm gonna love this place. Holy smokes, this is amazing. I'm saying this is the style of um, brick that I really like that you see in Place des Vosges. And now I need to do some research and figure out who initiated this because I want to say that it was Henry IV because he's the one that built Place des Vosges. I'm probably, I, 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 I don't know though. So let's just look at it. I don't think I made this clear. We uh, we were able to get out here on our Navigo because it's within the fifth zone. So if you have like a tourist Navigo for a week or whatever, the Paris Visite, it's just easy. It was it's actually really easy to get here. I was intimidated mostly because I'm really tired and I'm a little sourpuss. And you know, just don't worry about it. It's not so hard to get out here. It's really uncomfortable. Mm. 
Gotta make my grandma happy here. Lady up there's already started lighting candles. Just, this is gonna get exciting really quick. I really like this already and there's nobody here and it's just chill. I'll give a, a more full report towards the end of this exploration, but wow, these gardens and everything. This is, I like this. I think I'll move in. La mer. La mer. La mer. On va danser. These are some fancy headphones. These are like noise canceling. I know. Wow. It's already quiet enough in here. Okay, normally I don't go for audio guides, but this is like a dramatized audio guide that automatically triggers as you walk through the chateau. And it's like got actors and stuff, it's kind of fun. <laughs> For an additional three euros, you can go up to the top of the dome, which is gonna be great because I love climbing things. They've invested so much money into presenting this place. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's crazy, especially yeah. considering that I think it's all in a bid to actually get business. This is pretty magical. Now to get out of this place and go have a snack, picnic snack time. Finally got to the, the picnic break. We've been here for, how long have we been here for? Just about an hour and a half, which is oh. good. That's really, it's a nice amount of time. Like it's mm -hmm. just the amount, right amount of time you have the patience for, like Versailles massively larger than this and less diverse, I feel like. Mm -hmm. When you walk through here, you actually see a diversity of rooms and purposes for rooms. And they furnished it so nice, the props and so forth, like that giant boar that we saw. It's all really, really nice. So and the pheasants, all of it. If you're looking for an alternative to Versailles, or maybe you've been to Versailles before and you realize you don't want to go back through the palace, or you've heard the horror stories of the palace and you want to see something else, this is a good alternative. Like, the gardens are lovely. You can sit, have a picnic. There are people actually sitting on the grass out here. You can't sit on the grass up there, but you can down here. It's just lovely. I don't know. Highly, I think I think this will be highly recommended. Next, we're gonna we'll go we're gonna eat and then we'll go for a little bit more of a walk around the gardens and we're just waiting for it to get dark enough that we can actually see the candles. But we have to leave in about an hour and a half uh, for the bus to get out of here. Otherwise, we'll get stranded here, which could be worse. But that's not what I want. That's not the result I want. There was 
six percent battery life. That's dangerous. La mer. La mer. Not too shabby. I would I would live here. I am down to like 5% battery life, which is a good indicator that I've been filming a little bit too much. This is pretty fantastic. If you want to come out to Vaux Vicomte, highly worth it, 100%. Special thanks to Laura for actually figuring out how to get out here and doing the cognitive work, because didn't have that left in me. I'm gonna try and go get some candle shots after this. We wanted to walk all the way out here, which is really cool to come to basically the uh, inverse of the grand perspective, so to speak. So yeah, I will end with some delightful candle shots here as things get dark, but then we gotta get on the bus and get out of here. So downside to coming on the second longest day of the year is that we'll get a lot less candle time. But if you come later in the summer, they're doing this all summer, every Saturday, candles in the evening, every Saturday for the rest of the summer. If you come later in the summer, you'll probably get a little bit better candle action than we did. And I'll see you right early tomorrow morning for hopefully a, a lazy Sunday in Paris. <laughs> We missed the bus back to Paris, so uh, at least we got to see some fireworks. Don't know when I'll get to get home, but you know.